Hello friends, welcome to channel Creative Art. My name is Dilma and today we are going to paint this beautiful lotus watercolor painting. My advice would be please to try this because it looks very realistic and will add a beauty of nature to your room. So please to try it and place it in your favorite part of room. All the materials required to make this watercolor painting are mentioned in the description box below as well as shown in the video. To copy this image, please click on the link www.creativeathome.com so enjoy painting friends here friends first of all i listed all the materials which we require for watercolor painting i use camelin artist watercolor it's a pack of 18 shades and secondly i use a brusto artist watercolor paper this is a 25 percent cotton but you can also use 100 percent cotton this is especially what i use for wet on wet technique and secondly i use chitrapat watercolor paper pack these are made from 100 percent cotton fiber and are acid free these are special used for watercolor poster color and acrylic painting this is 270 grams the heavier the better papers I'll show you four types of brushes I usually use a flat brush 38 mm for flat wash a round thin long hair number one brush and two simple hair brushes round number six and flat hair number six and thirdly I use a very clean white palette for mixing watercolors and two glass containers one for fresh water and one for washing my brushes sometimes i also use masking fluid and most of the times i do use masking tape and food always will require tissue papers for wiping out extra colors or cleaning our brushes okay so let's start here friends i have already sketched my lotus and the lotus leaves on my watercolor paper and i have also secured all the four sides of the watercolor paper using the masking tape so let's check out the colors i'm going to use for making this lotus paint Painting. First of all, I'm going to use for lotus is magenta and watermelon hue combination, and somewhere we'll be using gambor hue and sabmin as well. And for coloring the leaves and the stems, we are going to use combination of gambor hue and sap green. For background, we are also going to use magenta, portion blue, and a raw umber. Okay, so let's start. First of all, I'm going to color the background. As first of all, we are going to color the border. We'll just randomly take any of the dark colors and give some tappings. So when you're done with this tapping, just wash your brush. Take some clean water. And Remove this extra thing using tissue paper. Here friends, I have taken magenta and vermilion hue for painting the top petals and here I have taken lemon yellow and gambor hue for coloring this bottom depth, okay? And I'm going to use a flat civil hair brush number 6 and for detailing, I'm going to use a round hair brush with very long hair number 1, okay? First of all, we'll mix a bit magenta with vermilion hue and get the desired color we want this is it wash your brush get this color Wash your brush very clean and this part is quite light. Using a 
tissue paper to remove this extra color from you. I'm using some lemon yellow over here. Till I get up, time is barely on our side. I don't wanna waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us, and love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah, no, I don't wanna waste what's left. And
Now I've taken sap green in my palette and I'll use with it Gamborg hue and lemon yellow. Take this sap green in very light quantity and we'll start coloring. mix this green with this for this mix some sap green with cobalt blue you get the darker shade Using a dry brush, you can clean off the extra water. Using your bit dark green, a bit lemon yellow over here. Okay, so now we'll be coloring the last part. I'm going to use a combination of sap green and lemon yellow and this is the color we have got by it. Just give a flat wash first of all. I'm using the same brush mix some Persian blue or cobalt blue with it and give the boundaries. Take your another brush and smoothen the colors, light it from where you want. Every time I'm cleaning my brush using a fresh droplet of water on the place I want it to be empty and want to feel the leaf a bit lighter. Every time I'll take some fresh water and clean the part of the color, okay? So this is how it should look. Remove the extra water using a tissue paper from the bottom. Now making the final stem, just taking a combination of sap green and cobalt blue. Taking some water again in my paintbrush. Picking some lemon yellow, mixing with sad green. A bit cobalt blue. If there is any kind of extra paint, remove it using a dry brush, extra paint or extra water and just clean the dry brush on the napkin and you can easily soak off the extra color on the water. Okay, here you can see finally that our painting has partially got completed. So now we are going to use a raw umber, taking a very light quantity for making seeds. The watercolor painting completed and let it get dry for some time and I'll show you how does it looks okay
Here yeah, friends our watercolor painting is finally completed and it has got dried up so let's remove all the four here yeah, friends this is how our watercolor painting looks when it has got dried up and completed please to tell me in the comments below how did you find it and if you did like this video friends please to like and subscribe my channel thank you for watching